呃，接下来两位讲者呢，是我们这一次从日本跟香港请来的朋友。那呃，日本的朋友呢？他是从冰松，冰松我刚刚看了一下，因为我昨天都还不知道，在名古屋附近。那他是在自己家里的工厂，把它改成一个 Fab Lab。那 Fab Lab 大家知道，其实就是呃，可能有人不知道，就是 MIT 呃发起的一个呃 Fab 所谓 Fab 的精神啦。那很多世界上 Fab Fab Lab 的串联呢，大大家知道台北有台台湾有 Fab Lab， 台北、台南，呃，还有哪里？台北、台南 ，dynamic， 对。那呃，接下来我想要请到这个日本的朋友来，他可以呢，他非常嗨。等一下我又请他用不一样的方式出现。呃，发拉哈妈妈组，他是一个以农业出发的一个，刚刚讲到社会嘛，他是一个一个以农业还有现在以生物 biohacking 为 focus 的一个 lab。那呃，他可以非常非常的苦，他是一个已从生活里面就已经融入各式各样 maker 思考的人，包括呃刚刚讲的农业方面，但是他同时也是一个 maker fair 的呃爱好者。我昨天才知道说，他自从去了美国的 maker fair 之后，后来在去年结婚的时候，把自己的婚礼弄成像一个 t a c k e fair， 对不对 t a c k e fair。<笑>我们等一下他会来分享一下他婚礼的状况，呃。那因为接下来这两位讲者都是用英文来分享，那之后等他们分享完了之后，我会再帮大家可能稍微总结一下，给他们做一些互动。那我们现在来欢迎 Takemasu 桑，他 Takemura 桑 ，Sorry。Did you want to do your little dance for a little bit? <laughs> yeah, no, thank you very much. t a k e h o r o w a s h i t a k e and uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Uh, I love the maker fair and the makers, uh, so I'm, it's my pleasure for coming here. Thank you very much. Uh, at first, I, I will show you our pre, uh, wedding party <laughs> as the introduction. Oh, sorry, my dongle is. <laughs> it's a log mark of the take a fair, not a make a fair, uh, inspired by the make a fair. Uh, because of uh, I hold the uh, take a fair, is, uh, I met uh, uh, it was an oppor opportunity that to start, the, start dating with her. <laughs> so I start, yeah. I sp Inspired by the any strange things, it's a cupcake uh, car. So I made a Japanese version. Sushi car, please play. Yeah, I lied on the uh, egg one and the. Uh, My wife is riding a Ikura one. <laughs> It was held in the factory. Sorry, just a minute. <laughs> okay. I next I made a wedding contract with the uh, iron. So now we are writing our names on the plate. So our wedding contract is uh, harder than paper. And uh, it's related to the Taiwan. When I, when I visited, to, visited to the Taiwan uh, last year, I ate a pig bakery, baked pig. So it was very delicious. So 
I want to uh, take him to Japan, <laughs> but uh, he cannot. I contact him. So after that, he told he told us how to make a uh, baked pig with the corn roll. So we don't have such a large barbecue corn roll, so I have to make that. I'll show you. It's a day, one day previous of the wedding party. Yeah, we made a barbecue corn with the iron work. It takes about uh, 20 hours. So we love making, so it was so fun. <laughs> After the we use the stand for the clean, uh, washing uh, for drying the crosses. Thank you very much. Ah, yes. Yes, uh, anyway. I want to talk about the Fab Lab. Uh, my Fab Lab, our Fab Lab is located in the middle area of Japan, uh, between the Tonjin and uh, Osaka. And uh, yes, Hamamatsu is uh, famous as an uh, industrial city. Uh, main, main, main industry is uh, automobile or a bicycle, a bi bike and the musical instruments. You know the Suzuki and the Honda and the Yamaha, Roland, it, they are all have a headquarter in our cities. So uh, most, of, uh, most of the citizens is uh, related to the uh, manufacturing. It's our fab lab. Uh, you can see any equipment but not so big, uh, because we start the Fab Lab as an independent, so we have no fund from the company or local government. So we started as a small, from small. So this is the shelf. It means uh, we, uh, I am a son of the farmer, so we have a shelf for keeping the agriculture too. It, I removed the staffs from that and uh, pour uh, concrete in the floor and painted the wall as the white. So we, we made the Fab Lab from zero. It's a satellite view of our Fab Lab. You can see the, you can see the factory area on the left hand and uh, you can see the residence area on the right hand. Our power is here, so you can see a uh, lot of uh, padding and the forest area. So we are uh, located between the factory area and the residence area. And we, uh, we have a lot of relation with the farmers. and uh, Most of them are light padding. So we started the uh, project that related to the rice padding. Uh, it's called the Open Source Aigamo Robot Project. Uh, it's a project that make a robot for weeding. Uh, I show you the problem of Japanese rice padding. It show, light one is showing the general rice padding farming. It means the red one is the time cost for the weeding. So we use a lot of medicines for picking up the grasses, killing the grasses. But uh, now we have uh, some problem, uh, like a TPP problem, or uh, yeah, medicine affecting for our bodies. So most of our students want to have uh, rice without uh, medicines. So we love the organic one. But the organic one has a lot of cost for a weeding time. So farmers don't want to do organic farming. So it's a dark baby. We, in the traditional Japanese agriculture method, we, 
they also use the uh, duck for the weeding. We call the duck aigamo. So we put the duck in the pudding, and the day we eat the weed in the pudding. But it's tough to keep the aigamo in pudding. It means uh, many of animals want to eat them, and uh, we they need uh, uh, food for keep growing up. So it's tough. So we con we think about that. Replace the aigamo, real aigamo, to the robot. It's a simple concept, but uh, we work with uh, another guys. At first, uh, we are only uh, five members, but now we call, uh, we are now uh, 20 guys uh, gathered to the, our fab lab and uh, making the robot. Yes, at first, we we started the duck song, <laughs> you know, duck and hackathon. Yes, so twenty over twenty guys come to our duck song and uh, trying to making a robot and uh, how to solve the problem. After that, we build uh, three prototypes. First one is very dirty. You can see a duck on the robot. Uh, and the second one is uh, here. And then now we are constructing the third one only using the 3D printer. Yeah. Uh, I want to use, uh, we want to use, the, uh, make a uh, iGamo robot, uh, the cute. So I show you the duck baby. Is it cute? So many of uh, children want to see the big, cute robot. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Aigamo robot project. And the next project is the uh, Agribus Nabi. It's not uh, our, um, our project, but uh, we are collaborate, collaborate, collaborate with uh, Fab Labo Tokachi in Hokkaido. Uh, they are developing uh, Android appli application for controlling the tractors in the padding uh, for go straight and uh, a go straight. So, but the, they don't have the skills that to develop the hardware. So we help them to constructing a controller of a handle. So after we connect to the application, the tractor can go to straight and uh, uh, easily. It's the next pro uh, project. And uh, at last, I want to talk about the biofabra. Uh, the, have you ever heard the biofabra? Maybe uh, not. Uh, last year, it, it uh, started all over the world. It means uh, we have uh, fab lab equipment already, uh, like a laser cutter or a 3D printer or any other digital fabrication tools. Now we have a uh, new technology, synthetic biology. It is a new field of biotechnology. Uh, it modifies the DNA into the useful organism. Yes, it's uh, like a concept. We, now we cannot yet, but uh, after a few years, uh, a few years later, we can do it. Uh, you can program the organism with the DNA, like a software. And the iGEM is a project, the very interesting project that can construct the organism easily. It means that they use the uh, DNA brick. Uh, they construct the DNA organism with using a DNA brick, so like a Lego block. So each of block have a function, like uh, getting a light 
or uh, sensing, detecting the harmful component, or uh, temp detecting the temperature, like a sensor. And motor is also. So we can use that and uh, construct the how to grow almost anything. Uh, now, uh, in the world, we have a lot of bio labs, not the fab labs, but uh, they are open for the sea, uh, for the civilian, like uh, hacker space or maker space or the fab labs. Mostly, most of them are open in uh, Europe and the uh, USA now, but uh, it's exploring to the Japan. Last, we, last year, two biofab labs, including me, was opened in uh, Japan. And now, two another uh, um, biolab is constru constru under constructing. As I want to talking about the biofab lab, what is it? You can see uh, any tools for uh, biotechnology, but uh, mostly it, they are very expensive for individual or a fab lab. So, but uh, we can make it. It is an uh, open source project, open source hardware project for the biology. You can, you, you can make a uh, centrifuge or a pipette or a shaker or any other tool uh, using uh, open source. And, uh, but we don't have uh, knowledge about the biology. It means Fabra, most of the FabLab guys are designer and a mechanical engineer and a software engineer. So now we are trying to learn the bio, bi synthetic biology through the internet uh, all over the world. It is uh, one of the class of uh, MIT and Harvard held uh, last year. Uh, the name is uh, How to Grow Almost Anything. Uh, such an exciting word. You know the HDGAA, it means uh, DNA code. So <laughs> it's a joke. And we try the learning about the biotechnology last year. We try to the, uh, it's a, it's a picture of the combined uh, DNA with using uh, any medicine. We, we try to make uh, some tubes using a 3D printer. Uh, light one is uh, with making, uh, making with uh, FDM 3D printer, and the left one is uh, making with uh, SLA. So we tried the both, and the we try to measure the effect. Left one is a, a machine that can detect the amount of bacteria in the tube. It uses an Android, uh, no, Arduino, and it can detect easily. And we try to culture a bacteria in a petri dish, but we cannot buy uh, expensive materials. So we use the useful materials in a supermarket. It's a gel and it's a bouillon soup. So we mix them and pour to the petri dish. It can work well. And this is an example of the making 3D printing materials as a buyer. We sold a cocoon, uh, it means silk into the medicines, and uh, we got the uh, liquid that, that can use for uh, 3D printing. And this is, uh, we learned uh, how to simulate the uh, protein model. It is a result, and uh, it, the construction is very complicated, so we try to 3D print the models into the physics, it is very easy, uh, under, it is easy to understanding for how the construction is. 
This is a cheap machine that can mix the liquid using a PC fan. It costs uh, only a few dollars. And uh, this is a PCR that can amplify the DNA. It is an open source, open source project. So we can, uh, from now, it costs a uh, thousand of dollars, US dollars, but uh, now we can make it a uh, few hundred dollars. And at last, I want to show you the, some applications by uh, biotechnologies. It's a uh, meat. Uh, it's our, not our project, but uh, you can see it on the internet. It's a uh, meat uh, made by uh, biotechnology in the petri dish. It will be a hamburger. Uh, maybe a few years later, you have to eat uh, meat or not. Uh, yeah, it's a very exciting project, open worm. Uh, we call the biotechnology as a wetware, not the hardware and the software. Uh, wetware means uh, we use uh, liquid for ex uh, in the experiment. So wet means uh, liquid. So open worm project is an uh, open source wetware project, like an uh, open source hardware project. It it constructs the DNA that, that makes the living organism. It's the first uh, step of the uh, biology. And uh, we can use uh, this project for modify to the anything. You know, how, for example, we can modify the worm to the environment detect detector or medical tools, so it's very exciting. It's on the Kickstarter, so you should check it. And it's a very funny project. It's a preprint. Uh, when you, you find a poo, <laughs> dog's poo on your house, uh, what should you do? You should identify the dog <laughs> who dropped the who drop it. So preprint is a kit uh, that identifies the uh, dog DNA. So you will be a spy. <laughs> and next is a very important program. Uh, it is uh, called gene drive. It's an achievement of the biology. The project is modifies the DNA of uh, mosquitoes. So it can modify the DNA to, uh, it means, uh, yeah, modify the DNA that have a function, determines the sex of the mosquitoes. So we control the sex uh, to bone only male. So after a few generations, all of the mosquitoes will be uh, male, so it will be die, destroyed. Why do, do they develop this, um, pro, uh, do this uh, technologies? Why is that? You can see uh, news. Uh, many of the people that die in uh, Africa because of the malaria. So. This technology can remove the, all of the mosquitoes in the world. Is it useful? How do you think? Let's think. Uh, it's very useful, but the, on the on the hand, the modified modified uh, DNA. Uh, sorry, uh, modified. Uh, Mosquitoes affect the existing species, maybe. So you should do, or you should not do. You, you have to judge 
with uh, rich knowledge about the biotechnology. So we have to learn uh, biotechnology more. So it means uh, wetware, open source wet wetware project have uh, another different pro problem uh, with uh, open source hardware and uh, software. It have uh, SCAR problem and uh, we have uh, regulations a lot about the biotechnology. We cannot modify uh, human gen genes in the fab lab, not only the uh, laboratory in university. So it will need the de de regulations. And uh, yes, it's like, uh, yeah, it, the problem is similar to the same situation like the drone and the 3D printing. Uh, drone is a very useful technique, but it, we can use the drone to the bomb drop. But the other hand, we can use the drone to the uh, useful delivery system. And uh, about the 3D printer, you, most of the people afraid to, the, to making a gun or uh, everywhere, but the, how, how is it work? No one making a gun in the city. So we have to consider about the problem, about the wetware, like uh, these problems. So for learning that, uh, FabLab start the bio, Academy, I showed you as uh, how to grow almost anything. It take uh, half of uh, years, and uh, we can take a class by in your fab labs. So it is very good opportunity for learning uh, biotechnologies. So let's take a class and uh, thinking about the biotechnology and the future few years ago, a few years later. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Take. Um, thank you for showing us so many examples of uh, biotechnology. I think a lot of people are very confused about what it does, but um, thank you for showing us so many. Very example, the poo DNA. <laughs> yeah. I think that solves a lot of our social problems. Uh, 谢谢今天他可以刚刚跟我们分享了很多关于 bio 这个部分的，因为这个是台湾比较少提到的一件事情。我们大家还在讨论呃 three D printing 啊，或者是呃雷雷切或者是机器人的时候，大家现在已经开始讨论一个最新最夯的 topic， 其实是这个 bio 的部分。但是同时像他刚刚提到的，就是说三 D 列印做枪支这件事情，或者是呃做。呃，空拍机这件事情，都都其实，在社会上面引起一些讨论，就是说关于一些呃道德伦理范围的事情。那 bio 不用说，生物这个部分一定是有更多的底线是会被碰触到。那这个也很呃期待看看以后我们怎么来解决这些问题。I want to go back to a little bit about、uh, your project. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you put, you're putting the ducks out of jobs with robots, right? Like you.、Sure. Out of jobs, ducks、oh, have no more jobs. <laughs> I want to ask you a couple of questions.、Um, how did the how did the project come out? Like, did you look for a problem in your community? Uh yes. Uh yeah. I show you the satellite view.、Yes. So we、uh, we located in the padding area.、Yes. So many of the farmer near living near here come to our、oh. lab. And、uh, talk about the agriculture problem, and uh, uh, sometimes they want to fix the tools,、uh. agriculture tools. So we have a lot of communication with、okay. uh, farmers. Uh, yes, during the communications, we found uh, like a problem. Yes.、Okay. So it was through a community discussion that you saw saw the problem that you want to solve, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so. 
，关于这些空间，就是说 Fab Lab 也好 ，Maker Space 制造者空间也好，其实很大的一个点是说，呃，想要解决一些在地的问题。所以刚刚他给说，其实刚刚那个鸭子的机器人，是他们很多的农夫跑来他们的空间说。哦，我们有这个问题想要解决，那个想问题想要解决，你们有没有办法帮我们来处理这些问题？所以，呃 ，Maker 在一个很大很大的呃可以发挥的空间，其实就是处理你最身最身旁的问题。嗯、um, ，Do I have another question? And and you really the the pig thing, <laughs> the barbecue pig. So you you asked the Taiwanese. Uh, uh, person, how, uh, how to do it? Yeah, yes, uh, Santurian, uh -huh. he's a famous yes. uh, baker yes, yes. in the Taiwan. So. And your wife was okay with everything. <laughs> yeah, Does yeah. She, she's a maker. Not maker, but uh, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> she loves yeah. it too. That's wonderful. We would love to meet her next yeah. time. Please take her. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you.